In this video, we're going to look at the benefits of genetic testing. Genetic tests provide the predisposition for potentially serious diseases and help with managing their prevention. Today, we're at Bamungrad International Hospital, which is located in the heart of Bangkok near BTS SkyTrain station, Nana. Bamungrad is the only private hospital laboratory in Thailand that provides this service. What is DNA? How do genes work? What is the importance of genetic testing? To answer this, we visited the Preventive Genomics Center and spoke to medical geneticist Dr. Polakit Tikakirikun. What exactly is DNA and how does it work? I think knowledge is power, right? Genetic testing can tell you a lot about your body because basically genes or DNA contain pretty much all information that define you and you know all the body function. So if you do genetic testing, we can you know tell whether or not you have any chance for developing um, certain diseases. Or sometimes it can help uh, rule out or exclude a suspected diagnosis. It can tell you about how you should use the medication, what kind of medication, or the dose of the medication, or even drug allergy. Doctor, can you please tell me the importance of genetic testing and why someone should do this test? Everyone has DNA. DNA is the genetic information that can be passed on from generation to another generation. It can be found in nearly all um, cells in human body and even other living organisms. Um, it defines you, as I mentioned, because it tells the body to function. It also, you know, like tells the body to make the protein and then protein is, you know, like a key part of all the integrity of the body and also body's body function. Can genetic testing help you find the right medication for the problems that you might be facing? Yes, you don't need to be sick to have them, um, you know, like this kind of um, genetic testing or DNA testing. Some of my patients decide to do this test because they would like to prepare in advance. They want to have the genetic um, information stored in the hospital. Um, I'll give you an example in terms of the drug use. If you have your uh, drug gene profile in, in the hospital, especially at our hospital, um, in the future, if you're sick, the doctor can pick the right dose and the right medications for you and can help uh, prevent, you know, like drug allergy um, from happening. Are there any specific types of people or age you need to be before you get a genetic test? Frankly speaking, genetic testing can be done in you know, um, every individual. We don't have age limit, but if you approach it from a preventive standpoint, we would like to prioritize adult individuals because um, they would have more understanding and I think they're mature enough to understand the genetic uh, result. One of the key messages that I always tell my patients is that most of the genetic testing can be done once in a lifetime because your DNA will not change. Once you have this DNA um, tested, um, it will be stored in the um, you know, hospital. We can go back to query um, if the genetic testing is comprehensive enough. Yes. Doctor, once I receive my results and I find some concerning or worrying results, is there still something I can do to change that? Not only can genetic testing diagnose the disease uh, precisely, also genetic testing can help you predict the risk of developing certain diseases. Most of the times, uh, people are worried about heart and cancer diseases. And nowadays, we can use preventive genetic testing to, to tell you about the risk for cancer diseases, heart diseases, yes. And, you know, like even some other diseases like, um, you know, Alzheimer. Or even now today, people um, like to do genetic testing because they want to know, you know, like what kind of vitamins, what kind of exercise they should do it. So there are many tests out there in the market. Is there any specific preparation one person has to do before they do the test? You can certainly show up and do it, but we would like you to make an appointment so we can prepare in advance. Um, uh, technically speaking, we would like to focus on uh, our counseling. We call pre-test genetic counseling. So we sit down and talk to you about, you know, like benefits, limitations, pros and cons, um, and then your expected results, right? I don't think you need to prepare anything very much. Um, sometimes we would like to um, let you fast for a half an hour if we would like to do the saliva collection. But if you are okay with uh, phlebotomy or blood draw, we can just do it right away. Um, you can expect the results um, in three or four weeks. And pretty much I like to tell all my patients that you can expect a, a couple of scenarios. 
if it's negative, then sort of good news, right? A peace of mind, then we can just, you know, like go through each appropriate uh, physical checkup if you're very healthy. Sometimes if it comes back and if it's positive, then we know that you have some genetic change or mutations. But don't worry because we have actionable plan, right? We will talk to you about how we should do surveillance. You may need to go to certain medical checkups more often than other population, a healthy population. Sometimes uh, you may need to use some medications to prevent you from having the disease. Last but not least that I uh, forgot to mention is that you can use genetic testing in terms of family planning, right? Sometimes you never know that you carry some genetic change. Um, you consider a carrier and then maybe you, um, you're going through, you know, like, uh, your family planning process. Um, you may need to um, consider genetic uh, carrier testing together with uh, your biological partner. So you know what kind of genetic conditions you may carry and then ready to pass on to your next generation. If you know in advance, you can talk to the OB guy. You can consider in vitro fertilization. Nowadays, there's technology called pre-implantation genetic testing. It can help you test each embryo and tell you, you know, like what embryo would be the, the perfect one and then you can transfer that back to your uterus or the womb for the, for the pregnancy. This is basically the uh, saliva collection kit that you can do at home. Um, so very easy and self-explanatory. Um, um, when you open the, the, the box, you see you know, like some of the uh, questionnaires and then instructions. Also comes with the barcode that you can scan and you can go through the, you know, like a video clip. Uh, this is the specimen bag and this is the collection kit. Okay. If you open this plastic box, you see the, um, the collection tube. Um, Basically, we would ask you not to eat or drink, um, smoke, or even like chew the gum, like, you know, like brush your teeth for half an hour. And when you're ready, you can provide your um, saliva up to the mark. And basically, a few uh, cc would be um, sufficient. If you snap close, the preservative will go in and mix with your saliva. You can keep it room temperature for a couple of days. Um, so everything will be neatly explained. Um, once you are ready, you can just put it back in the box like this, put it back in the specimen, you know, like back, and then it will be pre-labeled and then shipped back to our hospital. Yeah. Also, I mentioned about questionnaires. We do have like um, online questionnaire. We have like paper if you prefer. We would like to gather, you know, like some basic information, your d demographic data, your ancestry, because this would help us interpret your data more precisely and together with the consent form. You sign the consent because it's um, you know, genetic, in genetic information, it is sort of sensitive. So if you're agreeable, when you sign it, you can keep one copy of your consent form and the other form will be sent together with the back and then we will store it in our hospital database. Okay. Yes. It takes, as I mentioned, a couple of weeks and we will know the result for your genetic testing. Bamrungrad International Hospital is a world-class hospital rated the best hospital in Thailand by Newsweek for the last three consecutive years. And it was amongst the world's 200 smartest hospitals. People from all over the world come for treatment at the hospital because it is a leader in medical technology and innovative patient services. The Preventive Genomics Center offers services that are available for people with a family history of hereditary diseases and for individuals who care about their own and their family's health. Genetic analysis services can detect abnormal chromosomes as well as abnormal genes. For more inquiries, visit Bamrungrad's website, link in the description below.